Good morning. Today is Friday the 6th of September and just bringing you a major life update. We are moving. I can't believe it. Um, it just became kind of official in the last couple of days. Hi, Jenny. Want to say hi? You want to get up? Okay. Hang on. You good? We're going through a phase of really wanting to come up all the time. Up, 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 okay, okay, up, up. hang on. How about I come down here instead? You want to look on here? Oops, no, that's bad lighting. Hang on. Okay, here we are. Here's Jetty. <laughs> um, yes, we want to get up all the time, which is lovely. I know, you know, I shouldn't. I'm not complaining because I'll miss it one day. It just can be hard when you are trying to cook dinner and do all the things. <laughs> anyway, um, back to that in a second. So we are moving. Um, yes, we're moving. New, new splash. Um, we are moving from Sydney up to the Tweed kind of area, which is, <laughs> um, what is it like? I don't know in kilometers. I don't do kilometers, but it's like that 80 hour drive um we didn't get the place that we applied to originally the other day oh so heavy hey jenny can you fill up do you want me to get the pom-poms out i'll get the pom-poms come on pom-poms very entertaining uh very oh just dropped the tp very annoying to have to clean up but very entertaining pom-poms there you go. Can I please have your dummy? Can I please have Ellie? Thanks, Baba. No. Okay, thank you. I put Ellie up here. Are you going to play with the pom poms? Where are you going to do that? Over here? Yeah? On over here? Okay, you, you can decide. Don't mind my mismatched half PJ, half Flano top boy. We are, we are, yeah, we've just come into spring and it's that type of weather where it's a little too warm for trackies, but it's too cold for shorts. So flannelette pajamas it is when we're at home. <laughs> um, see, there they go. <laughs> Yay. You can put some in here. You can put some in here. Maybe we'll put the orange ones in here. And then. Orange ones? And then. Okay. Um, so, let me just get back to the story. So, yeah, we oh. found a place to move. We didn't get the first one we applied for, but we got the second one. Um, we got lucky because it was like a private... It was, the place wasn't empty yet. They weren't ready to view it, but I contacted the... Uh, agent and we had like my friend who lives up around the area viewed it for us and we put it in an application the process between the agent landlord and us has been a little bit disjointed like the communication and getting everything done has been a bit stressful um, but I think it's coming together okay we want to get up again um, so it's coming together um, the landlord wouldn't budge on, he wanted us to move within, I think it's two and a half weeks and we wanted a bit longer. We tried to do, a, we tried to negotiate for a bit longer, but he wouldn't budge on that. So the lease starts in a, like a couple of weeks, I think it is like a two and a half weeks, but we don't have our moving date set yet. I've already had a removalist come over to get a quote and oh Jetty you can't do that I can't hold you like that but <laughs> I've just popped Jetty outside to play for a little bit um because this I really really want to give this update and it's proving difficult um he yeah, like I was saying before, he's just been really 
uh, just wants to be picked up all the time at the moment and it's not just when I'm doing this it's all the time and it just gets a little repetitive and a little bit difficult to have to keep stopping and picking him up and boy it's getting heavy so I'm a little bit like uh, and Lindsay's been away on a three-day work trip um, he gets back tonight like around dinner time and just after that few days you, you do start to feel that lack of personal uh, space and personal time just in the morning or you know at night time just those little pockets of breathers make a huge difference but um, we're doing okay the other thing is he's had a cold this week so before Lindsay went away I made sure that I had lined up something to do every day with a friend something social to do with Jed and um, my friends who have kids that because he was sick we haven't been able to do a single thing so we have cabin fever or I have cabin fe fever um, but yes let's get back to this update so we are moving um, we're both excited but scared no, like no, really nervous it's major it's major life move um, but we have been planning this and wanting to do this for I think we've been talking about this for three or four years I think just going back and forth with plans back and forth with do we want to do this don't we want to do this like the pros and cons of moving and what have you and you know we kept landing on yes we do want to go um, and then it's just like okay how do we make this happen it's really tricky with work and everything like that but it's happening now and it's a bit surreal when I got the email from the agent to say your like your application's been accepted I wasn't even like yay I was just like okay freak out mode and yeah so a lot of my friends have kind of dispersed in recent years so a few of them actually live up near where we're going which is amazing my parents are up that way um and i have a couple of friends who live like out like completely out of where we'll be or where we are now um just check on jetty oh, he's playing in his little car um but yeah we still have good friends here as well and family here as well so thinking about them makes me really sad to leave especially my brother and his family like i uh, yeah i don't want to be away from like i'm gonna miss them like crazy not that we get a chance to catch up with them heaps but it's just nice to know that we can and sometimes it's just like a, a drop in for a quick visit and yeah I'm gonna miss them and so that is really sad but then it's sort of like we have our reasons for wanting to move um, so we kind of have to we're taking a little plunge we're trying something new and it is exciting and it is going to be an adjustment but hopefully it turns out for the better not for the better hopefully it turns out you know to be a good choice for our family and yeah so we'll just go in it with lots of positive um vibes and yeah it's going to be a warmer climate up there which is nice um i'm not going to tell you too much about the place it's not like we're just renting when we go up there and the place isn't somewhere that we want to settle but it's just sort of around the vicinity of areas that we can get to know yeah we're just renting it's not a huge place it's probably about the same size as where we are now so it'll be um you know cozy but adequate i think um my mum is flying in tonight she's going to be here for i think Four night, five nights or so just to help me while I pack because Lindsay's going to be at work well, he's actually doing a course next week and he'll be gone earlier in the morning and getting back a bit, little bit later in the evening than usual 
so mum's just coming to help and I'm so grateful because just getting like he's really good at like in spite of what I said about him wanting to be kicked up all the time at the moment he is a great independent player as well um, but I just feel like yeah an extra pair of hands is going to be really helpful when trying to pack a house especially a double floor house it's going to have to be up and down and ah so that's going to be helpful i am probably i might do one update before we go um and then this will be like our third time moving house within four years so i think i'll probably be able to do like a moving tips video after this uh, but yeah aside from that everything is going pretty well um, feeling uh, a lot better at the moment um, we just had to stop and start a few times um, so today is going to be a busy day I've got um, gonna take Jed to rhyme time because he's pretty much better now he's all contained um, we i've got a cooked dinner I've, we're babysitting my nieces tonight which is going to be fun and then mum arrives late at like nine o'clock i've got to do the shopping online don't think i'm going to be doing any kind of packing today but yes oh i've got to like finalize the lease stuff talk to the mover uh, okay i'm going to be busy today so i better wrap this up um this is all i gotta i gotta be careful to sort of just breathe and try and take things slow and not get too worked up and stressed not that i feel stressed i just feel busy and like oh my goodness ah i just had um i just made jed's breakfast and i just stuck his bowl on to the warm hot plate luckily it's fine i just had a freak out what a Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I need to, I need to focus and like do less things at the same time. I've got two businesses running and moving house, and have had a crazy emotional month, as you probably know. Um, so I need to make sure that through this moving process that I just take deep breaths and enjoy the process and you know not not be like too stressy go 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 and just you know just enjoy it it'll happen little pep talk for myself there anyway i really do need to get on with the day so thank you for watching and i will talk to you again soon bye